Apollonia PLNJ is an area of open water surrounded by sea ice. It is now used as geographical term for an area of unfrozen sea within the ice pack. It is a loan word from Russian, Russian pronunciation, which refers to a natural ice hole, and was adopted in the 19th century by polar explorers to describe navigable portions of the sea. In past decades, for example, some Polonias, such as the Weddell Polonia, have lasted over multiple winters. Formation Polonias are formed through two main processes, sensible heat polonia. This is thermodynamically driven and typically occurs when warm water upwelling keeps the surface water temperature at or above the freezing point. This reduces ice production and may stop it altogether. Latent heat polonia is formed through the action of catabatic wind or ocean currents which act to drive ice away from a fixed boundary, such as the coastline, fast ice, or an ice bridge. The polonia forms initially by the first year pack ice being driven away from the coast, which leaves an area of open water within which new ice is formed. This new ice is then also herded downwind toward the first year pack ice. When it reaches the pack ice the new ice is consolidated onto the pack ice. The latent heat pollen is the open water region between the coast and the ice pack. Dot. Latent heat pollen is a regions of high ice production and therefore are possible sites of dense water production in both polar regions. The high ice production rates within these pollen leads to a large amount of brine rejection into the surface waters. This salty water then sinks and mixes to possibly form new water masses. It is an open question as to whether the pollen of the Arctic can produce enough dense water to form a a major portion of the dense water required to drive the thermohaline circulation ecology. Some pollinias, such as the North Water Pollinia between Canada and Greenland occur seasonally at the same time and place each year. Because animals can adapt the life strategies to this regularity, these types of pollinias are of special ecological research significance. In winter, marine mammals such as walruses, narwhals and belugas that do not migrate south remain there. In spring, the thin or absent ice cover allows slide in through the surface layer as soon as the winter night ends, which triggers the early blooming of microalgae that are at the basis of the marine food chain. So, pollinias are suspected to be places where intense and early production of the planktonic herbivores ensure the transfer of solar energy fixed by planktonic microalgae to arctic cod, seals, whales, and polar bears. Polar bears are known to be able to swim as far as 65 kilometers across open waters of a pollinia. The presence of pollinias in McMurdo Sound in the Antarctic provides an ice-free area where penguins can feed, so is important for the survival of the Caproids penguin colony. Arctic Navigation when submarines of the U.S. Navy made expeditions to the North Pole in the 1950s and 60s, there was a significant concern about surfacing through the thick pack ice of the Arctic Ocean. In 1962, both the Uskate and Ussi Dragon surfaced within the same large pollinia near the North Pole for the first polar rendezvous of the U.S. Atlantic Fleet and the U.S. Pacific Fleet. 